we basically have the model of what we think the, the wind is going to do. This is something weather applied metrics generates and they'll have, uh, you know, standard trajectories to left field, to center field, to right field. And they can tell you what the typical deflection of those hits will be days in advance. So take me through how this data that you're looking at now is helping to solve old mysteries. Ted Williams in 1946, in June of 1946, hit a ball that hit a fan in the head who was sitting in that seat. And that's, you know, probably a typical thing. But this, in this case, it was really far away from home plate. And estimates back at the time, you know, went from like 450 to 500 feet. But more recently, we've got really good geospatial data of parks from LIDAR measurements. And we can see that that seat actually is 495 feet away from home plate and it's 30 feet off the ground. So we have a really good measurement of where that seat is. And it seemed impossible for anyone to hit a ball that far. Uh, What's that like a ball... normal, like a really good home run today? How far would it go? Yeah, like 450 foot home run is is uh, kind of a headline if it That's happens top notch. today. Okay. Okay, and we, so 502 yeah. seems ridiculous. Well, we've had some 500 foot home runs. I think we've had a handful in the stat cast era when we've been tracking home runs. But Ted Williams home run would have gone about 530 feet. And we've never we've never measured anything close to that in the stat cast era, which is why it's controversial. But the big revelation that we got from uh, weather applied metrics and looking at historical, you know, stadium architecture was in 1946, Fenway Park was actually much shorter. And also, conveniently at that time, there was a massive storm in the Northeast that day. Uh, Ted hit a ball really hard, and it got up into this unabated stream of wind going super fast almost immediately. And that wind carried it all the way to that red seat in right field 